This video is an attempt to answer a question that was posed to me by uh, a viewer who wanted to know whether he should buy the uh, Casio 9860 or the uh, CG20. Now both of these graphical calculators are brilliant. They will do absolutely everything that you need for any sixth form course, AS, A-level, further maths, whatever you need. The CG20 is the newer model, 9860 is the older one, and there is a significant difference in price. Currently on Amazon, which is uh, the UK version of Amazon, um, in August 2017, this is priced at £79.26, this one is priced at £112.99. Now if you were going to buy either of these calculators, as I've said in previous videos, I wouldn't necessarily buy it through Amazon. What I would do is I would have a hunt around, try and find them at a different price, or if you're at a school or a college, speak to your teachers, your maths department, and they may have a special deal worked out with a supplier so that you can get them at a cheaper price. So, as I say, Amazon, not the best place, but for a guide, £79, £113. So there is a definite difference. Now, what is the difference in terms of what they do? Well, the 9860 is the older model, the CG20 is the newer one, so there's a lot of things that the CG20 will do that the 9860 can't. To be honest though, either calculator will do what you need for A-level. Given the choice, if you have the money, I would certainly go for the newer one because it does do a few new things and it's a little bit nicer in the way that it works for a couple of things, a little bit prettier as well in terms of how it displays things to you. But if you want to buy the cheaper option, that is absolutely fine. Now I'll show you some of the differences um, between the two in just a second. The one advantage that the older model has is that it has a better battery life. This will last on average 200 hours as opposed to 140 as quoted by Casio themselves. Obviously it depends which batteries you use and exactly what you're getting them to do. If you're getting them to draw lots of intricate graphs, the, uh, those times will change. But essentially 200 for this one, 140 for that one. Other than that though, all the advantages lie with the newer model as you'd expect. Um, for starters, this one works in colour, the other one is just in black and white. Not a mathematical difference of course, but it can make things easier to see if you've got different coloured graphs appearing for you. There's also a difference in resolution which becomes evident as soon as we uh, start getting into the uh, menus for the two of them. This one has a display which is uh, 64 by 128 as opposed to 216 by 384 so there's obviously a big difference there and you can see immediately just on the icons that difference in resolution. In terms of what we've actually got in here we've got essentially the same things these menus are exactly the same as are going on they call them ever so slightly different things but the top row is the same, second row is the same, third row is the same if we come down we've got um, essentially the same stuff here as well, we've got our same system part, but that is where the menu ends on this one. There is an extra row on the um, CG20. We've got some geometrical parts, to be honest I haven't used this one yet for drawing shapes and looking at the relations. Um, I understand it's very powerful, I've not used it yet so I'm not too sure about that one. The picture plot um, is a little bit of a gimmick, essentially you can draw a graph um, whilst using pictures and things in the background. You may be able to use this, uh, there's some interesting things here with, um, uh, just as a quick example, these are just the ones that are in there, I've not uploaded my own pictures. Um, some, oh, just coming up in a moment, oh, you can just see it there. Um, you might be wanting to draw some sort of uh, graphical representation. I don't think it's necessary, it's not an enormous improvement on anything else. One thing it does do, which is quite nice, that the uh, 9860 doesn't, is conversion. Although rather puzzlingly, when you go into that mode, it says, well, if you want to do it, you need to go into the main calculating mode. Okay, why have it as a separate thing? I'm not really sure. But if we go uh, back up to our main mode, and we press um, options, F6, F1, we've got a load of different conversions, so we can convert between different measurements and so on. Again, not a game changer, but it's it's quite nice that it does it. And coming back down, one nice thing if you're um, doing chemistry or something like that, you do have, when it loads, the periodic table stored in here and all sorts of operations and things you can do with that. So little differences, nothing particularly uh, game changing there, but nice little additions all the same. When we come into our main calculation mode. 
Again, essentially the same. We've got all the same options and things. We've got that conversion. Oh, it's some little little conversion things in there as well, but just not quite as nicely presented. Um, and essentially the same things appearing. So it's it's all sort of the same calculus. Uh, I think we've got another couple of options in there. Oh, no, no, sorry, that's actually the same. Um, but essentially, when you're doing your standard calculations, these are the same, with one slight difference, that this will actually do vector calculations, whereas this one will only do matrix calculations. So it's the same sort of thing. Um, the CG20 will also do 3D graphs, um, although that requires a software add-in. Um, you just download a little patch and stick it in, so it's not a, not a major difference. Um, one thing that this will do quite nicely is real-time integration. Now, what we mean by that is that it will do a numerical calculation on what uh, an integral will be. To demonstrate this, and I'll try and do it with, with both calculators at the same time, if we go into the graph mode, and let's draw some simple graph like, um, I don't know, x squared. Uh, yeah, let's just do x squared in both of them. So we can see the difference in the graphing mode. Uh, let's just make sure that we're set up the same. So let's go for just a standard minus 10 to 10 uh, graph. And we can see slightly different displays, of course. We've got indicators up here as well, which is quite nice, showing you how much battery is left, that you're in degrees mode. Always very useful to know which mode you're in, that I'm currently in a complex mode, that's fine. Um, and we can see that better resolution to the display. Now, what I was talking about with the um, uh, integration, if we go graph solve, next menu, integrate, we've got other options that appear in this one. Let's choose that integrate mode. And we're going to integrate from one to three. This will draw that little bit of a graph. It's not a major difference, but it's quite nice. Again, this is just finding a numerical uh, version finding the same thing there. It's not actually doing algebraic manipulation, it's doing a, a numerical method um, to solve that value. So this is quite nice that it shows you in real time how it's working out. Obviously I've chosen quite a simple graph here. Had I chosen a more complicated one it would take that little bit longer in drawing that and it will show you how it's working out, whereas this one will just chug away and gradually give you the answer. The only other real difference between the two is that this one will allow some conditional formatting for the spreadsheet function, whereas this one doesn't. Again, I've not used it too much, I've not had the need to use it too much, but it's nice that it will do that little bit more uh, in terms of spreadsheet capability. So really, what are you getting different for, difference for your money? Well, okay, 3D graphs, real-time integration, vector calculations that it will do, uh, conditional formatting for spreadsheets. To be completely honest, I've never had the need to do them on this one, even though it can't do them. I've never thought, oh, I wish it could do vector calculations. Vector calculations tend to be relatively simplistic, so it's usually okay. I'm quite happy doing them on, on um, uh, pen and paper, but of course, if you want to have the added functionality, then use the CG20. Now, personally, I recommend the CG20 to my students. Um, we get a pretty good deal uh, for these calculators, so I would always recommend that one. It, it can do more, it is faster, uh, the display is nicer, and we can do um, some other nice things, like if I want to draw multiple graphs, maybe let's just draw, um, oh, I don't know, uh, let's go something like 6 minus x. Let's just draw a second graph on here. Well, here we've just got two in black and white. Here we've got uh, them in different colors. And if I've got multiple graphs stacked up, which are uh, very similar, it can be quite helpful to see exactly which ones, which which parts go to which parts and so on. So the black and white versus the color, that, that's actually quite a useful difference. Is it worth the extra money from 79 pounds to 113 pounds? I don't know. I, uh, to be honest, that, that that's a choice that you've got to make. Um, I would recommend this as the calculator, but there is no problem in buying the cheaper version and working with that one. I don't know if that's actually a very helpful thing for me to say. I don't know which one you should buy, but it does come down to your own personal statement, really, of, of you know, can you afford the nicer one? Do you think it's worth spending the extra uh, 30, 33 or whatever pounds it is? Um, this would be my, my recommendation. Get the faster one, get the one that's going to give you a better display, that's going to be able to show you more stuff, whereas this is not quite as nice a display, certainly not as smooth a graph as you can see. Um, but this one will do whatever you need. 